what's going on guys national master james canty the third here today we're doing live in-game training like a jedi would let's get right into it guys here we go okay so i'm gonna push play uh white to move all right so what do i do uh dang i'm trying to queen this we queen here maybe like bishop d4 to start the knight's looking crazy let's try it there we go now let's walk the king up is it here or yeah let's just walk up and then walk around him shoulder oh that's wrong that's wrong it says if king b6 knight of six dang boy that's a big boy move you see that knight of six wow okay um i don't know do i just step up you have three yeah push that's it that's it so best was uh dude what is this again? Oh my goodness, push. Right. Pushing. Okay. That's how we do it. All right, next one. Here we go. Why to move. In-game training, folks. Oh, I don't remember this. Maybe walk up? Is that the idea? Or do we just push? Okay, let's try walking up. Wrong. Oh. This is the best move. It's useful to fix the enemy pawns on squares where they may be attacked by the bishop. Yeah, h4. Fixing the pawns. So I get to fix these. So my next goal is h5. If king f2, he had g6. Okay. So, uh, h5? No. g5? No. King f2. Okay. Uh, here? Nope. H5. I thought it was H5, but like, I felt like he was, this was like a weak pawn. The reason why is because, uh, well, let's see. H5. Yeah, I think here, after this, when you get up here, I can like, by the time you get to F5, I can get here and capture, I think. And even this one hangs too. Still complicated. Okay, next. Let's go. White to move here. Uh, this was a technical one. I had to like, it's either here or here. And the reason for this is because they said like, king coming over, knight d6. So it's one or the other. I don't remember which one. Maybe five. A lot of these guys comes with experience. So you have to like have a lot of experience from like studying these games, studying these classical games, studying these in-game positions, and you get to feel for like how you remember things and where things should be placed a lot. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I think it's this one. It is. And then instead of taking, no, it's here, actually. For some reason, I think it's this one. That's wrong. It is that one. So that's what he said he counted on this. And then takes, takes, takes. So this would have been a draw. Believe it or not, this is a draw. The Bishop of Hate was better. Uh. Oh, it's this way. Okay, bishop e7, bishop d8. Yeah, there we go. Bishop f8. All right, here we go. Next one with black. I can take this pawn. I can also like go forward. E7. Let's try this. I know they said that you can do this move. So, like, what's the move? Take the pawn? No. F5. Hit the knight. Knight goes here. Still wrong. Dang. Threatening bishop e2. But he can just go king f2. So, what? Take? F4. White's position has become hopeless since his king is cut off for the forever pass pawn. Dang, man, that is amazing. Wow, that is so nice. Takes, takes, bishop e6, g5, h6, give me that two, give me that two, what you want to do. King e7, well, oh, walk the king up. This is beautiful. That wasn't the move, I guess. Wrong with the check. I guess just don't give him anything. King c5, bring him to the center or not. What are we doing? What? Well, here, I don't understand. King b5. Thinking before. 
That was amazing. So it's d2, f4, cut the king off. King c5, king b5. d2, f4, king c5, king b5. d2, f4. I like it. Okay. This stuff is tough, man. In game training. Here we go. Um, I don't know, guys. What do you think? <laughs> what would you do in this? Knight a3. Knight c3 take. I see three. Yeah, where are we going? Like, what are we doing? What are we doing, folks? I don't know. I don't know. This one's extremely hard. Knight c3 runs in, I think, a3. Maybe knight, then again, d6, knight c4. Oh, this is annoying. This is very annoying. Knight c3, a3. Knight a3, where does he move? And then what's my next move? Knight c7, that's not that bad. Maybe, let's try it. It's wrong though, but it is knight c3, wow. This is Napomniachi played this against Polovolandin. Polovodin. Okay, knight to c3. A3, knight e2. What? Knight e2? Oh my goodness. Hit that man with the move. Knight e2. That hurt. Wow. If you take it, you can't stop me. Even if you try to stop me, you can't. You can't do it. Not possible, big fella. Wow. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful move here. Because it's also threatening knight f4 check. Man, that's a sweet move, bro. Knight e2. Okay, so a takes b4. If king takes, of course, is this. And then knight f3 without little combination based on a knight fork, there would be no win. But let's say the position is drawn if the bishop is on f3. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. So he does. So then we take it. And then what? Walk the king up. King b5 or knight c3. None of those. b3. Yeah, this, that's ridiculous. How, once again, black has a resource to fork in order to advance. So if b3, oh, and then it goes into a winning endgame. This is hard. That was very difficult. If king b5, bishop c2, oh, but this still works. They said that this still would have worked. But this is the sequence that you would have had to go for, which is a little bit tougher to even find. Okay, b2, king b5, no, b2. Let's just push it, knight b4. Uh, here no king b6 if king b5 man that this is ridiculous like king b5 just seems right king c3 that's still wrong that's tough dude that's tough i c6 king here king b4 i said this was back as bishop a2 i remember this they said don't take it that's what I do remember. Okay, so looking at this again, it was knight c3, then b3 because of the fork. King b6, knight b4. Knight c3, b3, king b6, knight b4. Knight c3, b3, king b6. Knight B4. All right, next one. Let's do it. Just make some threats. It's always good to make threats. Threats on top of everything, guys. Hit him again. Hit him again. Come around the back way. What should we do now? Should we just put the knight here? Wrong. H4. 
One more pawn fixed on a light square. Oh, that's deep. Man, in game is so hard, guys. You have to study this like every day. Like this is big boy in game right here. But man, this is this is difficult. H four, right? It just makes sense. Of course, in slower games, you would see it too, or you would it would you would consider it. Knight f five, knight e three, probably, and uh, maybe walk the king. Any nothing else? King f one. Okay. Uh, king h two, king g three. No, that's wrong. So what am I doing? G four, f three. Knight f5, knight g7, no. Oh, snap. Of course. Why? Of course, bro. Oh, that's wrong again. h4, once again. Knight f5, knight d4. h4, knight f5, knight d4. h4, knight f5, knight d4. h4. Works. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Look at the board first. You look at everything. Look at everything on the board and you see what's going on. I know usually in these kind of possessions, you need to get your king to the center quickly. This is the square you want to run to. So let's go king f2. Run to the center first. That's step number one. Step number two, we need to get our pieces on the right squares. So this knight wants to be where? That's the question. Knight d4, or knight b4. Let's just do a knight d4. So that's an alternative. How about knight b4? This is another way to just run in there and try to provoke some weaknesses. Maybe swing the knight around. No. Okay, so maybe we'll push one of the pawns, put them on dark. Yeah, the reason why I chose g3 is just you put, in, you put your pawns on the opposite color of this bitch. So maybe h4. You don't want to push too many because then you could get zugged out a little bit. But you have the knight. The knight can jump around. Uh, knight d3 this time. And where are we going now with this knight? Uh, maybe nowhere, but... I don't know. B4. I feel like that's wrong. Oh, I'm going for knight h5. So he stops me. So then I'm going to swing around the back way. But then I'm going to come right back at you. Look at the knight. I mean, the knight comes in here. This isn't handy. But you want to have a, a piece. The minor piece or the piece you have, you has to favor your minor. And here, like, my minor piece is the knight. So I need a position that's locked up like this. Let's do here. Oh, that works. Okay, so what was this move again? Knight of four. Yeah, that was it. Very cool. Very cool there. Next with white. Same position, kind of. This looks good. That's wrong, though. Knight g4, one more pawn on black. Must now be moved to white. Yes. Now, where am I going to put the knight now? Maybe here. Uh, Go back. Knight e3. Interesting. Where am I going? What's my plan? Where do I put my knights? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> H4. Okay, I, just, I didn't know what to do. H4. This is why you study to understand these ideas. Okay, so maybe swinging the knight around. Knight F1. Maybe here, right here. Go here. Go back to D4. Um, man, this is so hard, man. Okay, chess is hard, though. Mm. What's our idea? I don't know, B4? I, like, I just want to keep wanting to playing this move. That's kind of like a Zug. It is. There it is. And then he would get in. It was a Zug swing. Yeah, if he moved the bishop, then I'm taking one of these. So now I'm in. And nothing falls but this. Take it. Take this one. Yeah, there we go. Yes, knight B5. Knight E3. Again, H4. Maybe five ninety three. Nice, very difficult, guys, and it works. This this stuff, man. You study your end game; it's going to help every part of your game every single time. Just keep studying your end game here. Do a few more here, and then be done with this video.
then we'll do uh we'll do some more training on tactics and some other ones too so whew, this will help every part of your game here right, let's just go up let's go up so that is a move i think knight g3 is a move too and then swing the knight around or just step up and then block no king d5 you losing can't do that knight h5 i thought was a move and then no i don't remember i think just swing this boy back though nope king e3 wow and it says ben larson is not afraid of a check on a third rank and brings his king to the center if king g3 rook h8 would lose i mean it's losing now because f5 is a threat that's hard and this became a draw by the way guys believe it or not this was a draw king f3 king e3 oh because you can't really progress wow you can't really get any progress there that's like interesting man that's a very strong understanding of the end game king e3 king f3 king e3 okay oh this is that nepo thing in here yeah that works get the opposition whose move is it white oh is this the one we walk him up we walk him up then we push then i go back this way i'm gonna push 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 king here check oh my goodness get the man off the board how did he find it i don't know but we found it check that was nice that was a, I've, I've actually done this too learn this I, I learned how to do this and then i actually was able to perform it in real time it was very nice to have that all right one more one more black to move oh this is a fun one i just don't remember right now i think it's h5 fix them and then i remember nakamura did it one time and it was like whoa naka like mate it was like it's like breaking through g5 gotta be next f5 now i mean look at that beauty pawn chain there now it's one of these pawns f4 it's got to be and then do i take this outside one that's it and i'm queening like <laughs> that's fire <laughs> what like i'm gonna leave you guys with this one i mean check this out look at this right well how many people moving your king right how many of you just moving your king here not even thinking about that not even thinking about this h5 life and like g5 and f5 and everything five and we get real life that's how it goes h5 g5 f5 i mean that was nice nice and if h takes g5 you play f4 anyway he takes f5 you play g4 and then the other one's running e4 can he cast this one here where's the box he cannot step really inside the box and it's blacks it's white to move yeah he can't step in the box that's out wow sweet all right guys this was in-game training guys we're gonna do some more training i do training on tactics uh, of course in game i'm just showing you guys stuff that i train on i want to see if you guys can answer this stuff as well how many problems did you get correct did you learn something today let me know in the comments thank you so much guys for watching the video like it share it all that other good stuff guys in-game training with a jedi i'll see you guys on the next video